An expert in curricular design and instruction, Dr. Elizabeth Armstrong has been instrumental in shaping medical education curricula throughout the world. As founder and director of the Harvard Macy Institute, Dr. Armstrong has fostered a global community of thousands of educators and leaders to advance how healthcare is provided and taught. She has been called the Pied Piper of Medical Education Innovation for her efforts to popularize learner-centered teaching methods, including case study methodology, problem-based learning, and interprofessional education models. Dr. Armstrong also embraces digital platforms in her curricular designs. Back in 1994, the then dean of the medical school, Harvard's Medical School, Dan Tosteson, asked me to write a grant to the Macy Foundation. The uh, Macy Foundation at that point was very interested in creating innovations in medical education. What I thought was truly needed in the medical education community, really the healthcare professional community, was a forum, a way in which people could come together and as educators have their own community in which they could advance each other's thinking. The Harvard Macy Institute was born out of that hope that we could create uh, the forum, the place in which the educators could come together nurture innovations and support each other around the globe. And so our challenge as educators was to think about what change was necessary in the curricula around the world and how could we use the science of learning to promote those changes. So really it was experiential learning that took hold. And so the change that I see over the last 25 to 30 years is truly that movement from the passive learning environment to one in which smaller groups of learners are working together with good faculty to engage in discussions, to problem solve, to challenge each other, and to have the kind of intellectual discussions that we really all need to have. The award really truly belongs to the community. Uh, the Harvard Macy uh, community of, at this point, I'm told it's 5,600 uh, scholars around the world who are advancing healthcare delivery and education. Uh, they are all to be thanked. And last but not least, I need to thank my husband, who for many, many years now uh, has uh, both inspired me, supported me, uh, encouraged me to be brave and to do what I enjoy doing, and this is what I enjoy doing.